North Korea, a country with a wicked, twisted leader, an army hell-bent on war and terror, and a football team that is, well, pretty awful if I'm honest. But what if one of the current dominating forces of the game was actually from North Korea? That's right, what if Neymar was not Brazilian, but in fact part of the DPR Korea, aka North Korea? What would go wrong with that? So, experiment number two, after our bit of a disaster with Lionel Messi, we decided to bring in a younger superstar, this time third best player in the world, Neymar. We're going to change his nationality to North Korean. That's right, bit of a wild one, this one. Uh, how can he influence the North Korean national football team, and how will his loss to Brazil affect them? But here he is, just to showcase you his statistics, playing for PSG, 25 years of age, amazing statistics. Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing to get excited about right here. So Brazil currently ranked ninth in the world with Neymar. How about his future country? How are North Korea? They are ranked 117th in the world, managed by John Anderson. Now, before we get into this experiment, I just want to show you the parallel universe with a North Korean Neymar. So here we are in my bizarro world. Let's bring up Neymar and I'll show you what we've done there he is so he's now north korea 77 caps 52 games exactly the same statistics as a brazilian neymar in your database that you would have on your fm18 as for north korea in this parallel universe exactly the same world ranking of 117 so what about brazil they are also ranked ninth in the world so no change there so what we'll do now is jump forward 12 months or just a little bit over 12 months and see what's happened in the world of football how have Brazil fared in the World Cup, for example? How has uh, Neymar performed for PSG? Those kind of things. And then we'll flip-flop it over and we'll go through the vortex and see what it's like in the bizarro world. So here we are, 12 months, or just over 12 months into the future. 16th of July, 2018. Let's take a look at how Neymar fared for PSG. So here he is, 26 years of age, 88 caps, 59 goals for Brazil. As for the season, 35 appearances, 21 goals. How have Brazil ranked? They are now second in the world, so it's a jump up seven places. How did they do in the World Cup? Actually did terribly with Neymar getting knocked down the second round by Turkey. I believe France went on to win the World Cup, uh, beating Holland 2-1. Now, how about North Korea? They are now currently ranked 94th in the world, still managed by John Anderson. That's a jump of 20 places, but nothing really special has been going on out in Asia. What about in the parallel universe with a North Korean Neymar? So here we are, we've traveled through the vortex into my bizarro world. So let's take a look at what a North Korean Neymar has done for PSG. He has got 81 caps, 54 goals for his new country. And as for the season, he scored 21 goals in 36 games. Not bad effort. How about his adopted country? His adopted country now ranks 76th places in the world. That's a jump of 40 in the world ranking. So pretty good going. Let's take a look at how they got there. Picked up big victories in the Asian Cup qualifying uh, Group A. Looks like they uh, spanked a few people, including Afghanistan, 6-0. Neymar amongst the goals against Vietnam. As you can see, top the pops, top Group A, six wins out of six. How have Brazil fared without Neymar? They're currently ranked second in the world, so no change from the two bizarro worlds. But how did they get on the World Cup? This is a, a neymar Luss Brazil. They actually got knocked out in the quarterfinal stage by Germany. Let's jump forward another 12 months and see what happens now. So here we are in the actual universe with a Brazilian Neymar. Let's just take a look how he fared this season. 27 years of age, now 92 caps, 58 goals for his country. As for statistics, 36 appearances, 20 goals, and now Brazil ranked first in the world. So a Neymar Brazil ranked number one in the world. Obviously, we are deep into Copa America country. Uh, let's take a look back. They got knocked out the quarterfinals by England in the World Cup. Uh, and they are doing okay in the Copa America. They sit top of their group. Still plenty of football to be played. What about Neymar's adopted country, North Korea? Obviously, they don't have him in this version of the uh, experiment. But they rank 101 in the world. So that's a decrease around about seven places but what happens in the parallel universe with a north korean neymar 
So here we are in my bizarre world. It's 26th of June 2019 and we do have a North Korean Neymar. Let's take a look at how he fared for PSG. 33 appearances, 17 goals. How about North Korea? They are now 87th in the world. That's a drop of around about 10 places since I last spoke to you. Well, I wonder why that is. We'll take a look a little bit deeper. So the reason to that drop is probably over their performance in the Asian Cup where they couldn't manage a win, picking up only one point out of three games. Um, so not not great, but they're now focusing on qualifying for the World Cup as they have picked up two wins out of two. Not bad. They're, so they currently sit top of Group 3 in the uh, Asian section. I think it's round one, or second round, sorry. So in good good stead, they could they could do something here. As for Neymar's former country, they drop to fourth in the world and compare that to the real world where they have first. So it's a drop of three places. Uh, the reason for that, I'm not too sure, but they're deep in Copa America uh, action right now, and they top their group, three wins out of three, so they could see that increase. But let's hop forward another 12 months back into the real world. So here we are, 25th of June 2020, in the real world, where Neymar is Brazilian. So let's take a look at Neymar as his performance for this season, or last season. Uh, 27 goals and 38 appearances, and as for Brazil, ranked first in the world. Why is that? How is that possible? Well, they finished fourth in the Copa America, losing out to Bolivia, penalties. As for qualifying for the World Cup, they currently sit second behind Paraguay. It's a lot to do, a lot of games to play. Firmino's doing a, a lot of action. But Neymar's still there. As for North Korea, they are now 129th in the world. So that's a huge drop of, I don't know, 20 odd places. I uh, wonder why that is. It's probably because they've been absolutely woeful. Uh, Trying to qualify for the World Cup. Not this time. They finished rock bottom of their group. Only got four points. And they fifth, finished fifth behind Oman. That's probably one of the main reasons of that significant drop in the world rankings. So let's hop into the bizarro world now and take a look at a North Korea led by the wonder third best player in the world, Neymar. So here we are in my bizarro world. The year is 2020. It's 25th of June. North Korea have Neymar, one of the best players in the world. Statistics for the season. 34 appearances, 18 goals, and they currently rank 65 in the world. Now compare that to um, the actual universe, they are ranked 129th in the world. And it's also an increase of around about 20 places in the past 12 months. So huge jump by uh, North Korea. And I'm sure Neymar is a key part of that. But let's take a little bit look, closer look at how that has happened. Uh, as we look, the World Cup qualification, they are into the second or third or the final stage of qualifying for the World Cup. And how did they do it? They finished top of their group, winning eight out of eight. An impressive 24 points, 17 goal difference ahead of the likes of Lebanon, Afghanistan, and Turkmenistan. Um, so pretty impressive. Pretty impressive go. Neymar must have been key in that. He doesn't seem to feature for the little games. The big general must say, uh, no, I must save you for the big games. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how they fare in this final stage, see if they can make it to the World Cup with Neymar at the helm. As for Brazil, they are now ranked second in the world, so that's a drop of, uh, I want to say increase of two places. They were fourth last time in my bizarro world. And why is that? They finished third in the Copa America, and they are now deep into the World Cup qualification phase, and they are second behind Argentina. Let's just take a closer look now at North Korea and their world ranking of 65 in the world. They currently are better than Bulgaria, Peru, Ecuador, and even the Republic of Ireland. But let's jump forward 12 more months and take a look at where we are now. So here we are back in the real world, 25th of June, 2021. Neymar is Brazilian, just if you're having trouble keeping up. And here is statistics for the season. 11 goals, 29 appearances, not, not that good. Uh, Brazil now ranked third in the world, so that's a drop of two places. Obviously, um, no major tournaments going on at the moment. We're deep into the thick of things for the World Cup qualification. As for North Korea, they are 139th in the world. So that's a further drop of 10 places. And that's in amongst the likes of Bermuda, Aruba, Grenada, and New Caledonia. 
So why has that happened? Possibly they've not really picked up many wins, important wins. Um, they even had a really disappointing East Asian Cup qualifying phase where they didn't even pick up a single win. Um, now in the actual Asian Cup qualifying, once again, they've not started particularly well, losing both their both their matches. So that's probably a huge impact on their ranking. Let's hop into the Vortex uh, with a North Korean Neymar. See how we fare this time around. Here we are in my bizarre world, 25th of June 2021 with a North Korean Neymar. See how we are doing with the world rankings and such. How has he fared first and foremost with PSG? 12 goals, 33 games. That's one better than the actual real world. As for North Korea's world ranking, 64th in the world. That's one place better than they were 12 months ago. Why is that the case? Picked up some wins along the way. Uh, we're not, doesn't look like they're going to have enough to qualify for the World Cup. But the fact that they're in this particular qualifying phase is, is a, just a, shows a testament to just how influential Neymar has been. As for Brazil, they have not moved. They still ranked fourth in the world. Why is that? Uh, we're just about to start the Confederations Cup. So currently as it stands uh, in the World Cup qualifying phase, Brazil are third. They need some work to do if they're going to finish top. But let's jump forward 12 more months back in the real world and see where we are now. So here we are back in the real world, 25th of June 2022. The World Cup is near, but First and foremost, let's take a look at Neymar at PSG. 600k a week still. 14 goals, 38 appearances. Not a bad return. Uh, a little bit better than last season. Let's take a look at Brazil. They're currently still ranked first in the world. No change there. Why is that? We're deep into World Cup uh, action. They take on Egypt in the next round, in the second round. But we'll find out the results of that later. As for the Confederations Cup, they lost to the final against Mexico, 2-1. So as for North Korea, they're currently ranked 130th in the world, so it's probably the worst we've seen them. And I wonder why that is. Uh, let's take a look. So they've not really been performing in the matches that matter, only picking up good victories in friendlies. Uh, they did win in the Asian Cup qualifying in the Group B, but that win was not good enough. Uh, finished on five points, five adrift of second place Thailand, but Iraq topped the group with 18. So now let's hop into the vortex again and check out how a North Korea with Neymar have fared. So here we are, 2022, 25th of June with a North Korean Neymar. Let's take a look at how he fared first and foremost with PSG. Here he is now, 20 goals, 33 appearances, not a bad return. Again, it's probably his best since the debut season for PSG. Now, let's take a look at how North Korea fare. They are now 88th in the world. Why is this? Well, because the man himself has packed it in. He's hung up his boots. I think after the fact, it must have been due to the, the failure to qualify for the World Cup. Um, yep. Yeah, they didn't make it. I didn't, didn't think they would. They didn't have enough points. Uh, they finished on 10, which was seven points shy of third place, which could have got you into a playoff. Um, and there you have it in black and white. 65th of November 2021, retired from international football. So let's take a look at Brazil now with a without Neymar. Obviously in this parallel universe, currently 8th in the world, which is uh, pretty woeful. I don't know why that is the case. They finished 4th uh, in the Confederations Cup, losing to Argentina. And also in the qualification game for the World Cup, they actually finished 3rd. So let's for, hop forward one more time, 12 more months, back in the real world, and see where we are now. <laughs> Here we are, back in the real world, 25th June 2023. The reason we're here is just to see how we fared in the World Cup. Here is Neymar, now 31 years of age, 19 goals, 38 appearances for PSG. Now, how have North Korea fared without him? Obviously, 152 in the world rankings. That is the lowest they've ever been, and that is in with the likes of Madagascar, Maldives, Ethiopia, East Timor, Tajikistan, so right down in the doldrums of the country. So just goes to show when you flip over to the bizarro world, when they're in the dizzy heights of in the 60s, just how such a key part of the process Neymar is. And here they are trying to qualify for the next World Cup, the 2026 World Cup, and they already rock bottom. As for Brazil, they're currently ranked first in the world, and that is with Neymar uh, leading the line. He's now getting on a little bit. 
and they are deep in Copa America action. And they did pick up the World Cup with Neymar uh, in the squad. Uh, obviously, some other players now coming through the ranks to, to challenge him for his honours. But he, he did, didn't score in the final, but he did score in the semi. It's a 2-0 win over France. Um, yeah, big, big, big result. They did also make it to the Confederations final, losing to Mexico. So all those parts play uh, into their world ranking of first in the world. And if you have a look, Frank Sinatra now scoring goals for Brazil. That's a interesting, cute little regen. <laughs> so let's hop into the Bizarro world one more time. Here we are, the final bit of the puzzle. 25th of June, 2023, with a North Korean Neymar. Obviously, he's since hung up his boots. But let's take a look at his statistics. Th uh, 16 goals, 38 appearances for PSG. Let's take a look at North Korea now. So North Korea now 80th in the world. Obviously, Neymar since hung up his boots, but... 80th is a long, long way away compared to the actual real world of 152nd in the world. And why is that? Why are they so high? They're starting to do the business in the important games. Uh, they made it to the second round of the Asian Cup, which is probably a first for them. And also they are doing the business in the World Cup qualifying one more time. Uh, they're in the second round, obviously, and they're actually two for two without Neymar. They top their group. As for Brazil, they are now fourth. Obviously, they do not have Neymar's influence. Uh, and in the actual real world, Neymar did win the World Cup. But Brazil, in this parallel universe, or this, this bizarre world, got knocked out in the second round. That just goes to show uh, how such a key player as Neymar could influence a mighty powerhouse of Brazil. So returning to North Korea, they were, on my records, the highest was 65th in the world. But over the years, in the, between the gaps, in the months that uh, we weren't there, they might have actually ranked higher. Well, as you can see, they were once ranked 58th in the world. Obviously, that was during the peak time of Neymar. And that is in and around the likes of Ecuador, Australia, Republic of Ireland, Iceland, uh, Bulgaria. So that's some ma major heavyweights when you think about it on a global scale. So this experiment is just about over. Now, to summarize what we've, what we've witnessed here, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I'm, I'm pretty impressed at how this has all panned out. So with... Neymar, as a North Korean national football player, he took the country of North Korea, who, who initially started this whole experiment, 117th in the world, to the dizzy heights of 58th in the world. And he also managed to get them through to the second qualifying stage of the Asian World Cup qualifying business. And that's pretty a decent accomplishment as it is. Okay, since he's retired, a, a North Korea have dropped now to 80th place so that's a drop of around about 22 places since uh from their peak that all in all that's a pretty good return from a player now if you flip flop it back again and make neymar a brazilian and do the whole six years again what we witnessed was he kept brazil number one in the world for multiple seasons and he also picked up the world cup and making it to the finals of the Copa America as along the way. So not a bad return. It just goes to show what a key player he is for Brazil in the real world and North Korea in the bizarre world. Moving forward, we do more experiments just like this one, where we take a global superstar and change his nationality to a smaller country and just see how far he can take them into the future. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all FM18 content moving forward.